guys want to come mic. Oh, it's First of all, it's just a pleasure to watch you speak because uh, it, it's entertaining to me just to watch you. There, there's so much animation in your voice, in your face, in your eyes as you talk, in your arm gestures and everything. I mean, you're just, you're perfect for a folk tale. Every time you speak, it's almost like a folk tale to me, it's just to watch you. But you have experience in this, right? So it's, it's obvious that you have experience because um, you're, you're comfortable doing this where I think a lot of the rest of us have a harder time being so animated, which is perfect and you did a very good job of that part. Um, I just, I like the way, you know, you were using your hands to describe things and your, your eyes and all, all of that was, just, was, was perfect. Where, um, where I got lost a little bit was sometimes in the story I thought I didn't quite know whether the story was about grandma or whether it was about tomatoes or whether it was about this little village and chaos. And I know there's a little bit of it in all those stories, but maybe it could have been cleaned up a little bit to be kind of take me to a more defined ending. Because when you did end, your ending was so enjoy tomatoes. Well, okay. <laughs> I, I thought maybe the ending you were leading me to some big climax with Grandma, and it, um, so I'm wondering, did did you cut it short a little bit because of the time? Okay, classic, right? You classic. Know, yeah. and to me, what that, to me, what that always boils down to is lack of practice, because generally, if you practice it enough, you know that your timing is down, and you don't have to rush the ending. Every time I have to rush an ending on the story, it's because I didn't practice it enough, so I didn't have the timing down. So. Okay, so that explains that. Um, some of your descriptions, again, were, were wonderful, and some of your descriptions were too wonderful, and that wonderful is kind of a general term, and delicious is kind of a general term. And when you're really trying to paint a picture, then something like maybe bright, red, plump, juicy is better than a more general term like the tomatoes were wonderful or they were delicious. Overall, though, terrific job. You're one of the best storytellers in the club, hands down. I really enjoy watching you every time. You really just throw yourself into a performance. So I, I admire you, too, the way you just go for it every time you come up here. Thank you. Great job.